Hi everyone. I look for a lot of different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God, and shall we nearing the end of days. Well, we show how the whole world is mapped out as a matrix, actually showing the, the design of everything that's planned in the Bible. We do not know about dates, but this symbolism plays out all the time. Just as here you can see mapped out about this eagle ready to fly. And it just so happens in the Super Bowl we have the Patriots versus the Eagles. And then over here you can see what's known as the Beast of Revelation actually rising up. When some coming out from these two domes, whatever that means, two mountains or who knows. In the Bible, 22 represents the last page of the Bible, the new heaven and new earth coming. But you can see this guy, and for those that know their like Batman series and such, you can see that he says Bane. And you can see actually that Batman is even mapped out right here, representing part of the beast of the book of Revelation rising that has seven heads. See how it's like one head, but there's two? This guy likes to spread fear. See the fear right there? Literally mapped out right in front of us. Well, these signs are just coming out over and over again all around us, especially about the four horsemen. And we like to show how the matrix plays out all around us. This is a brand new trailer for the God of Wars video game that will be coming out in April, April 20th. And it's showing the first two horsemen of the Bible, of the apocalypse, ready to ride. See Revelation 6, the white horse to conqueror that is given a bow and a crown. Then the second one, which is war with red and getting a great sword. You can see that right there. There's the bow and there's the sword as an axe. There is even another situation with the, a girl having the sword. But see the red right there. So you can see that being shown right into it, in front of us over and over again. So he's going up and he's waking up war, basically. So just showing that more and more of this symbolism plays out over and over again all around us. See, this is supposed to be the god of war. Then the other, the child, actually has the bow. You can see here the conqueror actually as the child, which could be actually part of Revelation 12, 5. And she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up into God and to his throne. Which many say this is the Jesus Christ Savior that will go to the throne at that time and bring judgment across the world. So you can see that playing out right in front of us and mapped out all around. We do not know about dates. The orange is associated with Donald Trump in many ways. Why? Why does this go from like Obama to Donald Trump to the Pope? Because it's a... The world is controlled by spiritual things. We've shown this glyph here before. This is of Akhenaten and Nefertiti from Egypt. And you have to remember that from Abraham to Jesus have gone to Egypt, and Moses was brought out from underneath the burdens of Egypt. That's what we're all basically trapped under. When you turn this over, you can see how much of a matrix we're actually in. You'll see Donald Trump right here, and Obama, and both of them being controlled by one satanic entity. They are just one or two of the seven heads of the beast. There's Donald Trump, and with this pirate representing the beast out of the sea and there is Obama with this mask as part of the man of perdition and there is the Satan character working these levers like puppets they are just his avatars under his complete control even if they don't know it, it see this things are inside of their pineal gland stop the tape and take a closer look if you want to he's in there if you're not quite up to speed on the Bible then that represents Revelation 12 dragon with seven heads, see? 
and the Revelation 13 beast out of the sea and the beast out of the earth again with the seven heads so you can see that this is playing out right in front of us over and over again we do not know anything about any dates coming up but there again there's part of the first two riders ready to go and as far as World War III going it's not just centered upon North Korea see North Korea is a problem but there's also things going on with Pakistan and India where people have already been evacuated see Pakistan Pakistan and India both have nuclear weapons so there's a lot of turmoil going on all around the world weapons of mass destruction through there then we have Russia's pushing things going along hoping to come in and clean everything up and you have China the giant red dragon that's sitting back there waiting so let's keep our eyes open and everybody comment in the comment section of what you've seen going on I can't play this trailer IGN is very strict about that they'll block the video right away but there's the first writer and it's called God of War and there's the second writer of the apocalypse all just more of the same symbolism we keep seeing over and over again just keep faith and know that the Lord Jesus Christ is real I mean, come to Jesus. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus Christ. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. So there is more signs of war uh, just being pushed on us in every way possible all around us. May God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah.